All right, what I have here is a 2012 Chevy Express band. This is a conversion band by the Sherrod Band Company. Uh, this is a seven passenger example. It is a high top example of that seven passenger van. It does have 20 inch wheels, exposed running boards. Uh, it's in really nice shape, 43,000 miles and change in the odometer right now. Very low miles for 2012. Um, actually the paint and body on this thing looks super, super clean. Inside it's super clean, no weird smells, nothing funky like that. It does have your typical age for a, you know, a, a 10 year old vehicle. But uh, other than that, uh, very nice ride, and uh, let's get started on it. We're on front here. I don't see any damage to it. It does have the chrome front bumper, so that does save on the chipping up front for the road miles. A uh, tiny little ding by the bump by the uh, uh, license plate bolts there. The hood looks really good. I don't see any issues with the hood. Um, matter of fact, the hood looks really good. Windshield looks good. Mirrors look good. High top. All appears to be in good good order. Fender and the bodywork, like I said, are in really good shape. I do see a couple of dings barely visible on the side of the van there, right below the uh, body bend there, uh, but they're not bad at all. 20 inch chrome wheels, and the chrome is starting to pit just a bit in the center cap. But for the most part, they're in great shape. I didn't see any curb damage on them. The tires look to be really nice. They got the, uh, the nubs on them there, so they're still at 99% tread. I see zero rust. Uh, I do see some tint pulling away from the window on the front windows. That tint is aftermarket, it was applied after the fact. We will not fix it um, because we don't have a tint guy. So if you want it removed, we'll take the window tint completely off the windows, but uh, that will be there, okay? And of course, being a 12, it does have the doors on the driver's side as well as the passenger side. What you know, anything past 2014 does not have these doors. Very small ding here. And a very small ding in the uh, driver's door, if you can see it right there. Okay, those will be on the van. Not going to be fixed on the 2012. Does have a class 3 hitch with your 7 pin hookup. Back looks great does have a backup camera, which is aftermarket. The radio in this unit is aftermarket, not the factory as well. Again, body-wise, paint, van looks really nice. Uh, it does have some wear on it, uh, but man, overall, it's been very well taken care of. Like I said, a couple little scratches and dings here and there, uh, but overall, man, the van is just in nice shape. Inside, I'm a ready struck with the fact that it doesn't smell bad, it smells nice. The seats are in great shape. Color is kind of a uh, pumpkin, call it. More of a yellow on the trim. But the inside's been very well maintained. It does have power seats up front with a uh, manual tilt on the front seats. The dash is the darker burl wood, as you can see. Does have an aftermarket touchscreen radio. That is an aftermarket radio, so you're on your own and figuring out the uh, features and so forth. I do see some aftermarket connections here that you'll be able to charge an iPhone or play from an iPhone if you have one. And it looks like probably a regular USB. Yeah, regular USB stuff too. So you can hook up your phone and so forth uh, in here as well. But as far as that goes, that is uh, aftermarket unit, not a General Motors unit. There's your switch bank for your uh, TV VCR, your reading lights, and your indirect lights for the rear. Turn those on for you. Does have 12 volt power there, OnStar traction control, and another 12 volt power outlet. Above you do have heat and air controls for the rear, and it looks like the headliners, or I'm sorry, the head uh, uh, sun visors are replaced. I'm not sure if they weren't in here, or they're missing, or what the problem was, but. Uh, Looks like they're new, and I turned the lighting on for the rear. And again, the seats uh, don't have any rips, tears, or punctures. There's no funky smell. Uh, everything appears to be functioning properly. This has a little bit of wear on it from the age.
looks like they are swivel seats. Lots of leg room. And it looks like the seats do not quick release. So they are swivel, but they are not quick release. No center console. Some folks really like that. Looks like it has headphones and your uh, remote controls for the television. And there's more heat and air controls there. No sunroof. And looks like those two bins back here are storage. Lines look to be in decent shape. They are. And the back window or back seat is in great shape. And I'm sitting down in the uh, center passenger position in the rear sofa bed. And I am 5'9 and have plenty of leg room back here. The seats, I believe, are all the way, re all the way back. Standing on the carpet's minimal, if anything, it's black. Um, so, because you swept out, but uh, I don't see any staining at all on the carpet. Doesn't appear as if it's ever been smoked, and I have no evidence of that whatsoever. Nice and clean on the inside. Show you the uh, storage in here. the uh, sofa bed in the rear for you. bag with all your paperwork for the original TV and the electronics and so forth. Looks like your jack is there. And there's your sofa bed. Where's your switch? Okay, here's your switches for the bed. So it does slide for leg room. And we'll also recline. And being a shroud, it has a two-piece bed, not the three-piece bed. There's where that is. It does have some bolstering that you'll need to be aware of. All right, go ahead and get this video uploaded and then sent to you. I know that you weren't expecting this van to be available, but it is as of today. Thanks for watching.